Alright, um, today I'm just going to run through um, getting um, some Venus flytrap into tissue culture. This is a little plant that I removed from another plant outside. Um, it's been just rinsed and soaking in um, water for a, a few hours trying to get some of the dirt off. Um, but the best part I find to use for um, tissue culturing Venus flytraps are a young shoot usually coming out of the middle here somewhere um, it's probably that one there these are fairly small but it should work fine so what I'll do is nip that one off we'll use him if I can get him out of there there's <laughs> a very small piece most of this can be used anyway I just tend to take pieces that haven't actually opened up a trap yet but for the purpose of the exercise we'll just take a few pieces That should be enough. Um, remove the traps off of these two. They tend to die off pretty quickly anyway, so I'll just snip the traps off. Alright, here we go. A few little bits for us to start with. Um, and once again, what we do is um, soak them in bleach now. Venus fly traps um, can be a little bit sensitive to bleach, so we'll probably only give them about five or six minutes in there. Um, it just depends how contaminated your plants are, but any longer than that, and it will probably start to burn them and kill the actual plant itself. So we've also um, got a drop in there of polysorbate 20 just as a wetting agent to um, allow the bleach to get into all the little crevices and like I said we'll give them six minutes in there uh, and then we'll right, to our um, fly trap segments of long enough in the bleach if they haven't killed them is just place them straight into some distilled sterilised water and give them about a 10 minute soak, 5 to 10 minutes um, this is basically just to remove all the bleach that's um, on them I'll do this three times, obviously using fresh, solution, uh, fresh distilled water each time so um, I'll just give that a few minutes soak and do it three times uh, and then we'll come back to it. Alright, our um, Venus fly trap leaves have uh, been rinsed in distilled water, or sterilised water now three times, so we'll remove them out. This is sterile surface here on this plate as well. Try to get them out of here without squishing them. our bits. Looks like I've cooked a couple of them. Here's a bit hit and miss. This one's obviously uh, on it obviously but I wouldn't even bother. I've uh, left him too long in the bleach so he's no good. Now all we need to do is um, what we did with the other plant segments just trim off the ends. Um, bleach tends to um, absorb into the ends, the cut ends of um, each segment. Bottom. It's a bit hard to see, so I'm blocking it all. But so all we'll do is trim off the end a little bit and the top. Like I say put him back down there. We'll just place him straight into the media. This is a plain media. Um, Some fly traps um, should start to cover us up just in plain media, but you can also add some conitin to the um, media to help them out a little bit. So, all I've done is placed him flat down in there, and like I said, he should start to cover us up and grow little uh, Venus fly traps off it 
in a few weeks. You'll see some little um, lumps start to appear on it, hopefully. Um, like I said, you, you can also use Kynotin in your media. Um, I don't tend to, I just use plain, plain um, media for these, but Kynotin does work. It does seem to help a bit if you're having any dramas. You can see I'm just, just cut off the end there, it was going a little bit clear uh, where the bleach had got into the actual leaf itself. So let's pop this one into. And there we go, hopefully that's um, nice and sterile in there, we'll see in a week or so, we'll either got a sterile tissue or um, we'll have a, a colony of uh, spore, some sort of spore bacteria growing in there, we'll soon find out I suppose. Um, and that's it. Alright, um, we've uh, used the bleach method to sterilise plants but um, it can be a hit and miss. What I tend to do, it's a little bit more expensive but a lot easier, plant preservative mixture. Um, really all you need to do is uh, give your plants whatever plant material you're using, um, a bit of a pre-clean under running water, um, and a bit of soapy water to clean off any dust or stuff that's um, accumulated on them. Give them a rinse and then put them into a PPM solution. Now um, how I make this um, solution is when I start to repair my media, um, and I've added the MS salts to the uh, one liter of water, um, before I add anything else to that, um, I take 50 mils of that um, solution, so it's um, water and the um, MS salts, and set it aside. And that's what I use for my sterilization solution. So that 50 mils of MS solution, plus I add two mils of um, plant preservative mixture to that. And that is a really good sterilizing treatment for pretty much anything. I use it on all my seeds um, and I use it on um, my plant that's or whatever plant I'm gonna use most of the time, depending on the size of it. Um, it can be a little expensive to do, do it this way, but you can reuse your um, um, plant preservative mixture solution several times. You notice this one's slight, slightly uh, green, yellow. Um, it's been used quite a few times. So what I do is put the whether it's seed or um, plantlets in there and let them soak for a few hours. Depending on what it is, um, varies. Um, some seed can take 24 hours. Um, plant will uh, venus fly track like this you might get away with four hours it is a little bit of a hit and miss or well, i wouldn't say hit and miss um guesswork until you get it spot on um this one's been these have been in here for about three hours so i'm gonna take out a couple and um put them into media now the media as i mentioned before in the um other venus fly trap video um kynotin this media has a bit of kynotin added to it um, to try and help that callus form, so that's why it's dyed yellow. Um, so all we'll do, like we did previously, and this is the um, plant preservative mixture in here, two mils per 50 mils of uh, MS solution. So all we're going to do is remove one little bit of plant. Scissors out, little bit of pull off. Snip off the end like we did for the bleach. Look, away from me. And also remove the uh, trap from the other end. And then it's just a simple matter of uh, placing the piece into the media. Can be a little bit tricky. Try not to squish it any more than we have to. Alright, it's um laid down fairly flat in there so I'm happy with that. Right. Um, and we'll just fish out another piece out of here. There we go. So the same process as before, snip off the ends. They'll die anyway, so there's not much point having them in there. See how he's sitting up a little bit in there. I'll try and lay him down. 
down a little bit flatter so it gets good contact on the media. And there we're done. And that's PPM solution. Like I said, two mils per 50 mils of um, MS salt mixture. Um, I'm going to put a video up on how to do that. It's pretty simple, but if I've confused you with what I said, just um, wait for the next video how to prepare this PPM solution for sterilizing seed and plants.